Oh my God, success stories. I mean, the biggest success story I have now is the Samsung S24 hack where I literally, <laughs> you need a phone to hack a phone. I still love that, that you needed a rooted Samsung phone to hack another Samsung phone. So there is that success story. Uh, there is another success story involving the Xiaomi 13 Pro. So technically I now have two success stories and three failures. <laughs> uh, more, more failures than success. And there's a lot of that in Pwn's own, actually. Uh, you talk to the competitors, we all share stories all the time about how this one thing was patched or this one thing didn't work. Uh, going back to what I said about Cena, he definitely has more on-stage failures than successes right now. Uh, this course that you're going to take, it goes over one of the inspirations that I had to even think about doing Pwn to Own. So to give context, there is what I would consider the most beautiful mobile Pwn to Own chain. And I think it is still the most bugs ever used in a single Pwn to Own entry. This is a entry from 2017 Pwn to Own. In 2017, there was an entry by Georgi Geshev and Robert Miller. At the time, they worked for a company called MWR Info Security in the United Kingdom office. I was working in the US office for MWR Info Security at the time, and I heard about this chain, and they did like a, this whole presentation, you know, press tour or whatever, including uh, releasing internal stuff at at MWR, it was very inspiring. This chain is one of the, the biggest inspirations and biggest motivators I had when trying to first do Pwn to Own. It was just so cool watching all those bugs fall together, fall in line together. It is currently the, like I said, it's currently the one entry that has the most amount of bugs used in a single Pwn to Own entry. And I wanna break it. <laughs> I wanna break that record sometime. This chain means a lot to me because of how much it pushed me to do Pwn to Own. This chain, I just wanna show it off. Like it's not my chain, it's not my entry. But I think the stuff that is taught in this chain, the stuff that you can learn from just analyzing this one chain, it's a lot. I think that if more people understood this chain, they'd also be inspired to do Pwn to Own. They'd be inspired to push themselves. And that is why I want to make this course, because this chain was just really that cool. So I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> I hope you enjoy this course. I'm gonna put a lot of work into this course. To the students, let me know if, if you wanna see anything else added onto this course. That's it. <laughs>